Hello, everybody. This is our story time today. But first of all, we'll sing hello like we usually do so that we know we're all here and ready to go. Sing hello to everyone, sing hello to everyone, sing hello to everyone, sing hello. Clap hello to everyone, clap hello to everyone, clap hello to everyone, clap hello. And wriggle hello to everyone, wriggle hello to everyone, wriggle hello to everyone, wriggle hello. So, story time. Some stories come in books like this one. And this is the story that we're going to have today. This is the story about the gingerbread child. It says gingerbread man on this book because that's the sort of old fashioned story that it was. Ours is going to be a child, although he does call himself gingerbread man because it rhymes, as you'll see. So this is the book and you can use a book to read a story or you can make up a story inside your head about something completely different or you can tell a story which somebody once wrote down in a book and then later on you tell it to other people without using their book and that's what I'm going to do today with the story about the gingerbread child. So if you joined us on Thursday you'll have seen this story already. You might like to see it again. It's the story, as you know now, of the gingerbread child. This is a big gingerbread child. And the one in the story is going to be a bit smaller than that so that they fit in nicely with the other people and animals in the story. Once upon a time, there was a man and a woman who lived together in a house and one day, the man said to the woman, I think it would be nice if we made some gingerbread today. And the woman said, mmm, tasty. I'd like some too. Well, said the man, I'm going to get out the bowl and the spoon and the rolling pin. What will you get out? And she said, I'm going to get out the cutter. Which one, he said? Well, the one that looks like a child. We could make a pretend child. And then afterwards, we could eat it. Oh, that would be fun, he said. Let's do that. Because their children had grown up and gone a long time ago. Well, first of all, they got out their bowl and their spoon. And they mixed all the things up together. Like that. And then they laid the mixture on the table and they rolled it like this with their rolling pin. Roll, 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 roll. And then they got out the cutter. Here it is. This was the shape, the shape of a person. And then they popped it into the oven and shut the door and waited. And this is how many minutes they waited for. One, two, three, four, five. And then the man said, let's open the door. And the woman said, okay, and then we can have a feast. We can eat our gingerbread. But when they opened the door, the other biscuits stayed in the oven, but not the gingerbread child. The gingerbread child jumped out and they ran across the kitchen floor and they shouted at the top of their voice, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And they laughed and they ran out of the kitchen all the way down the path. And the woman said, come on, let's go. We've got to chase after our gingerbread child. Okay, said the man, let's go. And they set off running as well after the gingerbread child. And when they got outside the house, they were just going a little way and they saw a girl standing by the side of the road and they said, did you see a gingerbread child running down the road? I did, said the girl. Come on, I'll join you and we'll chase after that child. And the gingerbread child ran on and the gingerbread child said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And they laughed 
you can help me do that bit next time we say it, can't you? And then the woman and the man and the girl ran on down the road behind the gingerbread child. They couldn't catch up. And then they saw a cow. The cow was standing in the field and they said to the cow, did you see a gingerbread child running down the road? Moo, said the cow. I did. I'll help you catch that gingerbread child. And the cow joined in, chasing as well. And the gingerbread child ran on down the road and the gingerbread child said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And the others came on down the road behind and after a few minutes, they saw a cat. And the cat said, meow, don't tell me, I know what you're chasing after. You're chasing after that bit of gingerbread. We are, they said, would you like to help us? And the cat joined in too. And they ran on down the road behind the gingerbread child and the gingerbread child said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. And he laughed and he ran on down the road and they all came running behind. And then they saw standing by the edge of the road, a boy and they said to him, did you see the gingerbread child running down the road? I did, said the boy. Shall I help you catch that gingerbread child? Yes, please, they said. And they all ran on down the road behind the gingerbread child and the gingerbread child ran fast. And the gingerbread child said, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he laughed and he ran on down the road. And then they saw a dog and the dog said, ruff, ruff. Are you trying to catch that gingerbread child? Oh, we are, they said. Would you like to help us? I would, said the dog. And the dog joined in and they all ran on down the road after the gingerbread boy. And the gingerbread boy said, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And he laughed. And then the gingerbread boy came to a river and the gingerbread boy looked at the river and he thought to himself, I'd better not dip my foot into that river because if I do, what will happen? Well, the gingerbread child was made of biscuit and the gingerbread child would just go into a pulpy, mushy, disintegrated biscuit. But then, who came along? It was the fox. And the fox stood at the edge of the river and said to the gingerbread child, I'll give you a lift across the river if you like. And the gingerbread child said, oh, thanks, that would be great. I'm running away from lots of people and I need to get across the river. Oh yes, said the fox, of course. And you don't want your feet to get wet and your body to disappear in a slippery, sloppery mess. No, said the gingerbread child. Well, I tell you what, says the fox, jump up onto my tail. So the gingerbread child jumped onto the fox's tail and the fox jumped into the river and away they went with the fox swimming and the child holding on. But the river got deeper and the fox said, jump onto my back, little gingerbread child and then your feet won't be in the water. And so the gingerbread child did that. But then the water got deeper still. They were nearly at the other side, but the fox said, be careful, jump onto my head. And that way you won't get wet feet. So the fox went on swimming. The child sat on the head. The people watched from the other bank because they'd all arrived there now, all breathless and panting. 
And the little gingerbread child didn't realize that the fox was very clever. And when the gingerbread child slid down onto the fox's nose, the fox jumped up and the child went in the air and then down, down, down into the fox's mouth and into the fox's tummy. And that was the end of that particular gingerbread child inside the fox's tummy. Well, you can imagine, I'm sure, that all of the people were standing watching and they all had different things to say. And the man was laughing and said, well, that fox is gonna have a full tummy. And the woman was laughing too. And she said, yes, I suppose the fox must have been hungry. And then the cat said, yeah, I'm hungry too. And then the boy said, me too. And then the cow said, mmm, I'd like some gingerbread. And then the girl said, why don't we go back home, go to your house and we could make some more. And this time we could eat it. Good idea, said the woman, let's go. And so they set off down the road, not running this time, walking home to make some more gingerbread biscuits so that they could eat them for their tea. And that was the end of the story. Well, I wonder if you've ever made any gingerbread. You might have done, and you can make it into all kinds of different shapes. You can make circles and you can make, put currants in to make eyes, and you can make little noses with currants too, maybe even a mouse with a few currants all put together or a little bit of a dried apricot or something like that. It's fun. And I don't think that your gingerbread child will run away because I think they'll just be there ready for eating when they come out of the oven. Let's have a little sing of that song about making a cake. Let's pretend that we're doing it together. And you know, when you get to choose what you'd like to put in and you can think at home what you'd like to put in if you were making a cake. Are you ready? Let's make a cake. Let's make a cake. Put in all the things that you like best. A little bit of this and a little bit of that. And what shall we put in next? Well, today I think we should put some ginger in, don't you? And we will sprinkle in the ginger, sprinkle in the ginger. Stir and stir and stir and stir and let's make a cake, let's make a cake, put in all the things that we like best, a little bit of this and a little bit of that, and now our cake is made. Wow, that was fun, wasn't it? So I hope you'll enjoy either making something with your Play-Doh or maybe plasticine if you've got some of that or maybe some real cooking if you're lucky. Okay, see you again soon and hope you can join us for a story time. Bye for now. We'll sing goodbye. Sing goodbye to everyone and wave goodbye to everyone. Wave goodbye to everyone. Wave goodbye. Bye. Kiss goodbye to everyone. Kiss goodbye to everyone. Kiss goodbye to everyone. Kiss goodbye. Goodbye from Judy, Claire, Coralie, the gingerbread child, and all of us in the toy library. Bye. See you soon. <laughs>